Hello everybody, hi, welcome, and thank you so much for being here. This is going to be a timeless and collected reading, so whenever this reading finds its way to you is the right time. Just keep in mind it's a general reading, so see which signs and symbols, ideas resonate for you in your particular situation and help to bring you some kind of clarity to whatever you're wondering, concerned, and confused about. It could just broaden your perspective, show you something in a different light, or it could narrow your focus, maybe show you something you could be missing in between the lines, but in the end, trust yourself. Trust yourself. That divine and inner guidance is inside of you. And try to make balanced decisions between logic and intuition so that you make sound decisions that are always based in love for the highest and greatest good of everybody, all of us. So we're all uplifted in love. Speaking of love, we're gonna start with the love oracle. Let's get some clarity in the love department, relationship department, situationship, whatever this is for you. It could be a friendship too. Let's get some clarity, energy surrounding the collective. Let's see what God, source, Holy Spirit, Christ consciousness. Our higher selves, angels and energies of love have for the highest and greatest good of all. Oh, oh, fire. Ooh, it's like divine intervention. So something's going to change. There's something happening that's going to come through that it feels blessed it feels like a freaking miracle. It feels divine. Like it's, you know, out of your control. Something is going on and being orchestrated in the universe, in spirit, from, you know, from God. So there is serendipity, catalyst, supernatural, and karma. I mean, supernatural is just, it makes me think of things that are like amazing miracles that maybe are actually natural, perhaps in other dimensions or other universes, but it's just that we don't have the understanding or the inner standing of it. It's not that it's not natural. It just feels different. It feels divine. There's something coming through. Um, <clears throat> there's a big, like, fire here. It makes me think of a forest fire. And sometimes that's actually on purpose because getting rid of certain areas of things that were like, if there was a, just getting like, if there was a, I don't know, like a weird bug or something that was affecting the plants. Sometimes you actually need to have something completely cleared away so that this new growth can come through. Um, serendipity catalyst. It's almost like, you know, when I think of catalyst, it might not be super huge. It might be something tiny, but that makes a really big impact. It could be just like that perfect idea, that little bit of clarity in a conversation that just changes everything. Let's get some clarity on divine intervention. I'm also seeing that perhaps in some situations, this could be a block. You know, if you can't get through that forest fire, if there's something going on, it's a little too big. It's sometimes because something has to happen on the other side that you can't be involved in or see right now. Something has to be orchestrated outside your field of vision. Um, so sometimes we get a no, a no on a job, a no in a relationship, you know, something that blocks us because there's something better that you weren't looking at because you were paying attention to the wrong thing. So let's see. <clears throat> oh, there's also karma in that card. So that's cool. I feel like this, if this is karma in the situation, it's something happening. So you're not repeating some cycle anymore. You, you got, you got the message, you got the lesson and now things can change. So, hear good things like here good things good times so 
Perhaps you put out, you know, some good energy out there in the past and maybe it just is work I hear working my way back to you working my way back to you that song I think it's like the temptations or something like that working my way back to you burning love inside there's that burning um so I see like now I'm seeing like a fire in your soul um which makes me think of passion Let's see what you're passionate about. One more card for the collective. Oh, well, maybe this big change is causing a little bit of anxiety, or perhaps this is the divine inter, you know, intervention. Maybe you were going through a situation where there was just a lot of thoughts, overwhelming, how you know, scenarios that you or someone else is making up. Anxiety is, it's hard. It's almost when our chakras are moving too fast or too slow and it's getting overwhelmed in your head. Anxiety is hard. Anxiety sometimes is not even explainable. You know, sometimes it's feeling like something's wrong, but it doesn't really mean that anything is necessarily wrong. So um, maybe you're finding a, I hear healthy way to deal with anxiety. Maybe it's just a little bit of exercise. Maybe it's better rest. I mean, this card makes me think of the nine of swords, which is not sleeping properly. It's thinking about things, especially at night, a little too much. Um, now I hear classical music. So maybe putting on some music um, can help readjust you stress, depression, panic attacks, and restlessness. So this could be you. This could be somebody else, you know, but with the divine intervention, I feel like this is the resolution. This is figuring something out. Maybe you're getting some help. Maybe this is some counseling coming through. Advice from a professional. Because um, I see those words but then the person in the picture actually looks pretty calm. Let's get some clarity. We have different energies coming through. I just heard different solutions coming through. So maybe you're just waiting for that, a solution. Hmm. I see somebody waiting, like waiting for an answer. Maybe that's getting you anxious. You know, you're waiting for something. I mean, that can get like an anxious energy. Like, oh, when are they, when are they gonna answer? Or you're trying to answer someone. You don't know which way to go. Um, so what can you do with your energy in the meantime? That does feel, I heard progressive, but maybe just making progress on something, something that you feel, um, I mean, it can just be a chore, something around the house, something that you are procrastinating on. Maybe you can start that project or that, you know, that paper. Call that person. I hear a lot of, I hear procrastination. So maybe pro someone's procrastinating or that's you. Let's get one more card. Faded meeting. Oh, wow. All right. So just, I'm getting like, being at the right place at the right time. I mean, you have both divine intervention and faded meaning. So sometimes some, something might come through and block you because you're supposed to be somewhere else. Um, so don't get, I'm getting that example I got in another reading. Like if you get behind somebody that's really, really, really slow, you know, going like 20 miles an hour and speed limits 50, um, maybe that's because you're supposed to be somewhere a little bit later. So let me see here. She has a little bit of a Billie Eilish look with the green hair, uh, meant to be destiny predetermined and encounter. So this is destiny is coming through. You're meant to meet a certain person that's going to help you. That's going to bring you somewhere. Um, 
Here it's a subway. Maybe it's a restaurant. Maybe it's, I don't know, just getting that feeling you should be somewhere at a particular time. Um, I'm feeling a little sneeze. I'm going to pause you for a minute. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't want to sneeze on camera. It would be really loud. Um, so maybe like, I don't know, maybe, maybe, I don't Maybe a sneeze, like, I don't know how a sneeze could be useful in this reading. It just, I just thought of Caught a Light Sneeze by Tori Amos. So that was interesting. Um, maybe the dust in the air is clearing. Let's see what I get with this card. I'm getting that, I hear knowing. I mean, when I see this, it feels like, I don't know, these people look like their styles are kind of different, but they're kind of the same. So I feel like their energy is the same. It looks like one is focused on, like it looks like the masculine is really focused on the feminine. Um, but this could be two feminines, two masculines. It doesn't have to be this situation. Um, and then it looks like she's either like trying not to look. <laughs> Like, la, 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 like, ooh, yeah, I like that over there, but I don't want to look weird and stare too long. Or she's just literally in another world and not paying attention. Um, but I feel like something happens, like the train goes really fast and like she has to see. Like there's something that has to happen where they have to, I'm just getting like neat eyes, recognize each other somehow. Somehow something's going to come through and a conversation is going to start. And I feel like it. I, I'm getting take your places. Either that conversation is going to take you places or um, this interaction somehow is going to make you go somewhere new. Like all of a sudden you, sometimes we need people in our lives and all of a sudden our path changes. Like, you know, 90 degree angle going a different way because of one conversation so let's get one more card from this party Ooh. so celebration event public social gathering so maybe you're meeting this person at a party um maybe through a friend you know it could be a blind date for some of you hey hey i have this friend like maybe you want to go out and you're like mm, i don't know or maybe your friends know or maybe this is just you out and about with your buddies and you know you run into somebody else. Um, I just saw this and I saw like, um, what is that? Like the wingman. So maybe there's someone around you. Maybe it's easier to be approached when you're not alone. Maybe it's easier when there's like casual environment, party, you know, happy energy. These people look so happy. Um, and I'm just getting like somebody being, I'm getting a wingman energy, like that friend that just knows like how to maybe even get the conversation started. Maybe you're the wingman and you're setting up two people or setting up this situation so somebody gets a job. And, you know, maybe you're the one that's kind of like a little more um, lively and um, outgoing in public and you're like helping a situation happen. Um, I mean, that could be someone you know. That could be like, I'm getting like, even like a mom or a dad. Um, maybe you're planning a celebration or a party or you get an invitation. Go. If that invitation is there and someone like sent you a text, a flyer, something like that, maybe it's just, maybe just go. Try it out. What's at the bottom? Surrender. Allowance. Allowing this divine intervention. Allowing this new thing to come through. Um... I like allowing yourself to work through a stressful situation. Maybe this helps you get out of that stressful situation. Just kind of gives you that little opportunity to change up your energy. Maybe you're working a lot or you have a lot of like deadlines or something like that. And this could just be one person as well. Just, you know, if this not necessarily with the faded meeting, but maybe this is just that one person that just kind of uplifts your energy. 
makes you feel a little bit groovy and better. So you have surrender is letting go, release, give up, and patience. Sometimes it's hard to be patient. Patience is, you know, sometimes it's easy and sometimes this is really hard when you want something, when you want something to happen already. So, I mean, it is gonna happen. Look at this girl, like on this gigantic swing, really high up over a waterfall. Makes me think of like fear of heights, maybe f like a like a nervous energy or a fear of flying, a fear of like I'm just getting like skydiving. Now I see people in a plane, and I feel like I, this is going back to this anxiety thing. So parable, whatever this is relating to, it's like you have you know you're gonna do something, you know, and you you're gonna do it. You're gonna do it. You're gonna take that leap of faith. And um, you're in the airplane. <laughs> maybe you've done this before. Maybe it's the same every time. Or maybe this is really new. But it's that like you almost have more anxiety thinking about the jump than actually taking that leap. It's like that build up. It's like the roller coaster. That track. You know, you're going up, 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 up. Like, oh, like that's, that's almost like the hard part. But then once you go, you're just like, you're on the ride you know once you jump you're flying free you're like i'm just getting you like really enjoying it like you didn't even know how much you'd enjoy something it's just let go release also this is releasing your hold on something hold on a specific outcome hold on how it has to be a certain way in your i'm getting like a mold it has to be this way because that's how you foresaw it sometimes our path takes us off the beaten trail off the beaten path um, it comes about a different way. It doesn't mean the same goal isn't coming through or the thing you thought of. Um, but sometimes we change our goals as we walk along that path. We are like, hmm, this, well, I think I'm going to go a different way. So, um, but it's releasing also any, it's not trying to control others, their situation, um, their personal progress and process and path we all have different ways of getting there understanding something um let's get a synchronicity card one synchronous synchronicity card divine intervention stress and destiny a predetermined encounter i'm just getting like like your souls, like actually somewhere in some dimension and time and space actually signed up for this meeting. It could just be a moment in time, but this meeting changes everything. Or it could be something that comes through that's just like going to be the long term new thing that comes into your world. Um, like destined to meet another person destined to be in a particular place at a particular time for a certain opportunity. This opportunity is going to like bring you some growth, make you discover some kind of talent you didn't even know you had. Or tap into a talent you know you had and never had the opportunity to use. One card, synchronicity. What's card down? What is this? Blocked. Okay, I mentioned the block. Sometimes a block, you know, sometimes a no is like protection for us. Maybe somebody's blocking you because they're trying to protect you from something. Um, blocks aren't always bad. Also with this, I'm getting building blocks. The opportunity to build something. What do I see in this? I don't even know what it is. Oh, depends on how you look at it. Look at that. Oh, this is such a cool card. Let me show you this. What is it? I don't know. I first I thought it was like a raindrop with a with a bow tie and a square and like a planet inside a box. This is the way because it says blocked there. But look at this. This is so cool. Look at it. It's a hat. Maybe somebody's being a little bit square, 
but it reminds me of those like surrealist paintings and it's like somebody with a suit you just had to see something a different way you had to turn it upside down it's kind of like the hanged man wow i really like this card also there is something right in your hand um and the the face looks like it could be a mirror you know maybe somebody is mirroring you but it also looks like it's like a universe <laughs> it looks like space it looks like a universe of possibility that could form there um that is a cool card i was gonna pull one but now i want another one from this deck let's see clarity unblocked this came through before i've only used this deck one other time gentleness um you have the deer the young buck you know Makes me think of like the antlers, um, like different seasons. <laughs> I just thought of mating season. Maybe it's a different season for you. Maybe it's <laughs> maybe it's like mating seasons coming through. I mean, that's what I saw with this. It, it looks like the moon, a full moon, so releasing energy. But it also looks like it's kind of like the world. So have gentleness on yourself. If you messed up, if you said the wrong thing, whatever it is, you know, if you were um, maybe showing a side of yourself that you don't normally show or keeping a part of yourself tucked away and not showing your true self in a situation, just have gentleness with you. Have gentleness with somebody else. Maybe they're going through something. Um, I just saw like the sweetest thing. I just saw, I just saw like somebody sitting and like another person here and you're just like, I don't know, like petting their hair or like stroking their face, like just really gentle, like loving energy. <laughs> that was really pretty to see. Um, I don't, see like a big conversation in that situation i just feel like maybe the touch is enough the energy the the feeling the um the intention is just really authentic and beautiful maybe there's somebody like that that just makes you feel safe you feel safe Take the collective. Let's get another card. Teacher. Let's repeat cards. This came through again in another reading. So teaching somebody else, teaching somebody to fish, to do something on their own, recognizing the awesome teachers you had that helped you, being this awesome teacher, teaching something to everybody out there. What can you teach? What do you know about? What do you get excited about? Um, the right teacher really coming into your world at just the right time. I mean, this teachers can be a, a friend, a stranger, um, a family member. We learn from every situation. Um, I hear every hardship. I mean, the hard teachers teach us the most. Um, also, sometimes the teachers learn a lot from their students. You know, that one student that just keeps you on your toes makes you question what you thought you knew. So always be willing to learn more. Always be willing to, you know, expand those horizons from what you thought had to be a certain way to maybe even that same thing in, a, in an opposite perspective, someone else's perspective. Let's get another card, see if we get something different coming through. Finder of lost things. I think we're, how, how is it out of, how many cards are in this deck? The same ones come through. Elephant, so maybe it's the elephant in the room. Um, yeah, this card came through before because I saw the elephants that paint. So finding intelligence, you know, even amongst our 
the creatures of God's universe, the world. Elephants can paint. Isn't that amazing? I mean, I paint, but they paint better than me. Better than me. Um, I do more abstract stuff and an elephant can paint like a self-portrait. So maybe you're doing a self-portrait. It also makes me think of family, um, you know, really chosen family. Um, the elephant looks really happy here, like he's flying a kite or like a hot air balloon. Also, I like the pink energy. I feel like pink is like a little bit of passion, but it's like some love too. It's a little passion and compassion together. It's like soft and, I don't know, when I see this, I just thought of, uh, I just thought of diamonds are a girl's best friend. I think the colors in that are like hot pink and red, which is an interesting color combination. Finder of lost things. So I just heard the key to your heart. Maybe this is the person that has the key to your heart. Maybe you actually lost something and you find it. It could be simple as that. Like you lost your glasses, you lost your keys, you lost your marbles in a situation and you're finding them again. Um, this is remembering something. You know, the elephant never forgets. So, well, it could be like actually remembering all of a sudden where you put something. It could be also changing it so that you have a hook or a special bowl or something so you don't lose your keys again. Um, lost. Maybe you thought something was just lost, a lost opportunity. Maybe it's not. Maybe there was a lost opportunity and you didn't think anything new, anything better could possibly ever come through. Maybe it does. Let's get another card. Ooh, sister. Aww. Makes me think of how much I love my sister. But I also have some friends that, you know, they're not technically my family, but I feel like they are my fam. They are my family. There's my soul family. So who's your soul family? Um, it kind of even looks like my sister. She does her hair like that. I just see the rainbow. So it makes me think of like, you know, something lucky at the end of the rainbow or there was a storm, but there's a chance for healing. Um, what is that song by Bob Marley? Sun is shining. Sun is shining. The weather is sweet, make you want to move your dancing feet, yeah, to the rescue, that one. Bob Marley, maybe Bob Marley is important for some of you. He has some nice quotes. Um, there's also a little bird and a feather in your cap. <laughs> I just thought of Yankee Doodle Dandy. <laughs> maybe it's doodling. Maybe you do some doodles or you do something sketch sketches. Um, I mean, sister, brother, it could be a brother too, but it's sister. I know I just heard, hey, soul sister. I'm getting a lot of songs with that card. Um, I mean, my sister and I do connect to music, uh, but Who's, who sings that? Hey, soul sister. Hey, the Mr. Mr. on the radio. There we go. The way you move ain't fair, you know. I can't get the band, but I think in that video, they do something interesting. So I think this is maybe a message coming through with this card. Um, I feel like the words, uh, the, like the lyrics of the song are somehow incorporated into the video. And there's something about writing words or seeing them that helps you retain them or hear them, you know, like um, uh, understand them in a different way. So maybe you're doing something and like you actually put the lyrics or you actually write something down, like seeing the words. It could be a diary for some of you. Maybe it's something you write something down, you write down your feelings write somebody a letter, you know, whatever you're going through, how you feel, even if you can't ever give it to that person, maybe, you know, maybe you end up like 
tossing it away, sending it down the river, maybe even burning it, but maybe that's just seeing it for you. Helps you process something, say what you always wanted to say. Or it could be like you're actually going to say those words and maybe you need to like kind of get some organization first before you have a conversation. What's at the bottom? Gather. So maybe that's that party. Gathering information. What is here? It's like there's a dog in the universe. Finding your pack. Finding your person. I just like the colors. It's, it's both like vibrant and whimsical but if you look way in the back there is structure and there are like shapes wow songs are coming through today i just heard shape of you ed sheeran so that was a lot of oracle cards before we even got to the tarot and i wanted to make this reading a little shorter than the last few but they flow how they flow Hopefully there's some kind of info. <laughs> like you're a poet and you don't even know it. <laughs> <Ba -dum -tch. laughs> Guys. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like such a nerd. Oh, embrace your inner nerd. Love it. Own it. All right. I, I took out my favorite deck. Out of everything I have, I do I do not understand completely why I love this little deck of cards so much. It's the summer holiday. I just love the pictures. It's sort of traditional. It's sort of modern. It has a very... I like the energy. It's just... I don't know. It's happy, and I feel like when I look at these pictures, they move. So let's get clarity for the collective sister finder of lost things maybe you have a sister that's gonna find something you lost um surrendering you know taking away your attention where it doesn't belong bringing it back to you being gentle and then like getting ready get ready now another song get ready because here i come get wow music of today music is a uh, moving today um divine intervention is coming on through it's gonna happen being in the right place at the right time follow your inner guidance follow that little thing you get the little whisper keeps coming back to just maybe it's just going to the store i don't know why i have to go to the store i only need milk you know I only need Parmesan cheese or like crackers, whatever it is. Like just, maybe you just need to, you know, go to the store and you're going to be in line next to somebody. It could be really easy. Something really little. Clarity for the collective. Oh, nice. So, it's a golden opportunity. It's that golden ticket. It's the universe. God is handing you this coin. It's like this pentacle of possibility. It can grow so, so big. It can become wealth and abundance in your world. Uh, here, it can make something much easier. I feel it's, it's weird because, you know, it's this huge, it's this huge coin, this huge thing. So it feels like the value is heavy. Like it should be really, really hard to hold, but you are the one that's supposed to have it. You are the one with the strength to hold it. Um, I just thought of like the sword and the stone, you know, like everybody tries to pull the sword out, no matter how strong they were, you know, or how important they were, you know, what, where they came from. It's like, it was just like, is it King Arthur, right? Like it's the one that literally is divinely meant to have this particular thing. So say thank you here. It's like, it does look like it's like at the beach, but it almost looks like there's a red carpet. Like there's a pathway just for you. Um, look at the sunglasses on this. Um, on this sun and then I thought of sunglasses at night by Corey Hart wow songs are coming through today 
I wear my sunglasses at night so I can sleep. Maybe it happens at night and not the day. But when this comes through, it's a start. It's an ace. It's up to you to make it real in your real world and to do something with it. If you take this thing and you just tuck it away in your purse and forget about it, it ain't going to do anything. This is investing. Investing time, energy, attention into something so it can grow. What's at the bottom? And apparently it's going to take you to the Ten of Cups. Oh, look at the must. Look at the must. Look at how I love this. Look at his mustache. Maybe you have an awesome mustache. That's like a barbecue. You know, the dog's there. There's kids. Everyone's happy. There's rainbows and coconuts. It just, I mean, Ten of Cups is happily ever just remember, that's not reality land. I mean, it is. This is being fulfilled emotionally with your family, your friends, your chosen family, your job. Everything you do when this comes through is involving love. It's the possibility that it can all work out for everyone somehow. Like, everybody gets their own opportunity to be loved the way they deserve to be loved. Well, that was interesting to come through. So everybody gets that, whatever that is for them. You know, everyone deserves that chance to, I'm getting like, like some, getting like everybody deserves the chance to have the opportunity to be with somebody or in a situation where you're really wanted, like you're desired. I'm getting passion all of a sudden, even though there's a family picnic here. I'm getting like, everyone should be loved how they deserve to be loved and love is expressed differently for all of us we all have our different little love languages so maybe this is recognizing how somebody else you know appreciates being loved maybe somebody else is finally getting you or this is that person that just gets you just gets you but this is the opportunity to have it all to have this abundance of happiness in your life around you in your everyday but be real really see a situation for how it is it's accepting it's surrendering something it is how it is and um know that not every day this not every day is going to be a picnic shit happens in our life things change you know rain comes storms a brew conversations can flow or you can have some arguments um but it's always acting in love that in that integrity inside yourself i mean this is really being your truth getting to live your truth so maybe it's where you are and that's exactly where you should be or maybe it's you know ending up somewhere different you never expected I had like all this and then everything just went silent. It was interesting. Like everything just kind of like, maybe there's something in the silence. Maybe it's, maybe silence is important. I'm not sure how that came through. Like, it's almost like it came through, but nothing came through. here every day every day every moment I mean you know when we get to the end it's these beautiful moments that mean everything so you know if you're thinking about jumping out of an airplane if you want to do that and you know do some skydiving why wait do it today we have today today is today is our moment you know, even if it's just planning for tomorrow or next week or do it, do it. Life is short. We're here to experience joy. So make a choice to start to have more joy in your life.
even if it's like it doesn't have to you know you don't have to jump out of an airplane and skydive it could be reading a book taking a bath walking your dog going back to school what is it what is it you've been waiting to do and you're procrastinating on start to make it happen this is a basic angel answers <laughs> so we're gonna go basic for the end here it's like they're just basic answers so let's see clarity for the collective I keep hearing the word dreams over and over And then I heard banana. <laughs> not, I don't know why, why that came through. It sounded like like a like a secret word, <laughs> you know, like somebody has like a secret, a secret thing. Like, you know, when I'm thinking of you, I'm gonna send you a banana, or like a like. A, I don't know why I saw a banana, a banana maybe yellow, you know, sunshine yellow, um, maybe potassium. <laughs> Which now brought me to an avocado. Maybe an avocado. Why am I getting all these foods? I mean, I do love avocados. But they're funny. Maybe this is important. Maybe the banana had to take me to the avocado. Because an avocado, like my mom, for instance, like <laughs> she hates avocados. But I think she just has never experienced it in its perfectly prime. You know, there was a very fine line between it being a little too hard and not having any flavor and like a little bit brown and soggy and weird so it's like having that mm, that you know really recognizing maybe when something is just perfect and then it's like butter you know like it's just I don't know maybe you don't like avocados but I do I do I think they're it's like that I don't know like I feel like they're healthy like it's a healthy fulfilling even though it's fatty it's like I don't know I get that it's like kind of like um <laughs> like feeds your brain all right that was an interesting ending to this reading let's get let's get a let's get a sign from the angel answers clarity for the collective thank you please remain positive wow your third eye your pineal gland your connection to source is just like beaming. This person looks so happy and there's flowers. Something's going to blossom. Maybe somebody's getting flowers or you're, you know, something uh, finally growing. <sighs> like the season finally comes. I just thought of like the, um, I always mix up which are the types, the type of perennial, is it the perennials? I don't have the green thumb, but the ones that you planted the seeds once and just kind of <laughs> threw them out around the house or whatever, but they come back every year. Um, so maybe you already planted those seeds. You know, something just is waiting for the season. It's going to come through. Remain positive. I see like a, like a conductor. You know, like somebody conducting music here with these angels. You see them? Or like Tinkerbell, you know, like. I mean, that could be just like, you know, a little parable for spirit. Like, I'm going to give that little, that little message, that little situation. Like, whoop, now is the time. What's up at the bottom? All right. Well, whatever you're manifesting whatever is coming to fruition do stay positive it might not be tomorrow the seeds are there it takes you putting some energy into something putting effort into it so it can actually become but this says within the next few months you know you'll really start to see something differently or really start to notice you're in a totally different place um you're heading towards that palace. All right. I love you so much. I will see you soon. I hope you have a beautiful day. Bye.